Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing 12 products from Amazon that I feel are must-haves. First up is this eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette has over 3,700 reviews and almost a full five stars. It's only $14.99 and it does come with some brushes, but I'm gonna tell you these brushes are worthless. I tried them, they're going in the garbage. But the palette is actually quite good. Would I personally give it five stars? Overall, no, but I would give it five stars for the shimmers alone. And I truly feel that the palette is worth the price just for these shimmers alone. I can apply these shimmers dry with my finger, or if I dampen a brush, I can get the most beautiful, intense shimmer. It's not glitter, it's not sparkle, there's no fallout. Every shimmer shade is extremely wearable. I do find that some of the brown shades, and clearly there are a lot of brown shades in this palette, some of them aren't extremely pigmented. They aren't that sort of amazing, buttery, blendable eyeshadows that you sometimes have in other palettes. But the shimmers in this palette are, in my opinion, on par with many of the shimmer shades in my higher end eyeshadow palettes. So the bottom line is that if you are looking for an easy everyday eyeshadow palette that contains mattes and shimmers in a lot of neutral brown shades, there are some plummier tones up through here, this would be a good one to get, especially if you're someone who tends to overdo it with eyeshadows. Sometimes extremely pigmented eyeshadows aren't the best for someone who is just beginning with makeup or someone who finds that they do go very heavy handed. Maybe you're just not that great with blending. And if that sounds like you, an eyeshadow palette like this is ideal because the shades are more sheer. However, they are buildable, so you can build up to a more intense eyeshadow look. Here's the palette once again, and I think I've said this more than enough times, I am just crazy about these shimmers. I would purchase this palette for the shimmers alone. Next up is this Candy Paint Cream Blush. I honestly never used to be a big cream blush fan, simply because I do have oily skin, and I found a lot of cream blushes were just too dewy, or they didn't last very long on my oily skin. But in recent years, cream blushes have gotten so much better. The quality has improved. They definitely wear a lot longer, and you can find some that aren't ridiculously dewy. Some people love, love, love an extremely dewy cream blush, but once again, if you're oily like me, you want a slight dewiness, but you don't want it to be over the top dewy. Hopefully that makes sense. This product actually comes in a couple of shades, but before I went and purchased all of the available shades, I wanted to try one, the bright pink, and this one is called Disco Lemonade. I do already have some on, clearly, but for the sake of demonstrating in this video, I'm just gonna go in with a brush and add a little bit more. Oh, wow. <laughs> I may have got a little overboard, but you can see just how pigmented this blush is. Oh boy. Way, way too much, but you can blend it out. And it's just so pretty and it lasts all day long. I will be buying probably all the other shades that this comes in. So if you've watched my other Amazon favorites videos, you would know how much I love the Koki powder blushes. So I would have to say those are my favorite affordable powder blushes. And this would be my favorite affordable cream blush that you can purchase on Amazon. And lastly for makeup, did you know that Amazon carries buxom lip glosses, and I know what you're probably thinking, big deal, I can buy buxom plumping lip glosses at Ulta and at other stores, why do I care that Amazon sells them? Well, I think it's great news because it saves me a trip to the store, and I can just add one to an existing Amazon order that I'm already planning to place. As you can see here from this footage of one of my makeup drawers, I am a bit of a buxom lip gloss addict. I wear them on their own, I wear them over lipsticks. I currently have this shade April, over a sort of rosy pink lipstick. And I just love the way they feel. I love how long wearing they are. I love the little plumping effect that they have. I personally adore everything about these and they often come out with seasonal colors that I am the first in line to purchase. Going forward, I will most likely purchase most of my new shades from Amazon. Every 
time I record a new video, I like to change up my look somehow. I have an array of hair extensions, clip-ins, halos, I've got them in different lengths. I will often wear my hair up like today. I just like to experiment and change up my look. And one of my favorite hairstyles for days that I don't want to wash my hair or really mess with it too much, well, that would be this hairstyle right here. And for the longest time, I struggled with getting the baby hairs around here. And now that my hair is pretty much coming in all gray, it's gotten to be a lot more coarse, I have more breakage, and I just struggle to get this sort of sleek look. Well, I struggled. I don't struggle anymore now that I know what the celebrity hairstylists use to achieve this look, which is a hair wax stick. And this one is apparently the one that celebrities like Hailey Bieber and Bella Hadid use when they are going for this look. It is definitely game changing. I had tried so many different hair pomades, different stronghold hair waxes that come in a tin. Nothing worked. This works. So what I do is I just pull my hair into the tight ponytail or bun and then I smooth it out and then I take this product right here and I just go right in and it lays the hair flat to my head. It gets rid of any of those flyaways and then I forgot to bring it in here but I will often take a small brush and just use that to kind of lay it flat even more. And it's great for around the ears and the back of the head. If you like to do a hairstyle like this or you've been wanting to try a hairstyle like this and you too have been struggling to figure out how to get this very sleek look, you've got to get yourself one of these hair wax sticks. Okay, product number five is another hair product. It is a hair dryer. This is the Elkim 3900 Healthy Ionic Hair Dryer. It is pricey, but let me tell you, it is worth it. I had been using a T3 hair dryer for about three years and it finally died on me. And I happened to be watching the Instagram story of Christina Zilber, I think is her name. She is the founder of the cosmetics brand Jouer and she was doing a Q&A on her Instagram stories and someone had asked her what her favorite hair dryer was because she has such beautiful, voluminous, thick hair and she said this one. She said it was a recommendation from her hairdresser and of course she goes to a very expensive high-end salon in California and so I thought, what the heck, I will invest in this dryer because I do need one that is super powerful because I do have coarse, wavy hair. Pretty much my entire life I've been told by hairstylists that I have curly hair, but when I did a video on, I think it was the Revlon dryer, I mentioned that I had curly hair and people were like, no you don't, your hair is just wavy. Regardless, it takes a lot of power to straighten out my hair, to give me that real sleek blowout look. In fact, I own a Dyson hair dryer and that does not give me enough power. There is a professional strength Dyson dryer that my hairdresser actually has, but because I already had the other one and I didn't feel like putting out that much money again, I decided to go for this one and I am loving it. It dries my hair so quickly. It gets my hair very sleek. I do use a round brush that I mentioned in a past Amazon Favorites video that I will have linked down below in the description box with all of these products. And so what I do is I just take the round brush, take the hair, and then I go like this. If I have time before this video goes up, I will try to shoot a little footage of me drying my hair. As you can see, it does have this nice nozzle attachment. It does have a cool shot button. It is fairly lightweight. It's not the lightest weight dryer I've ever used, but it's definitely not extremely heavy. It does take me about, I wanna say 10 minutes or so to dry my hair, and my arms don't hurt or feel heavy. I love this dryer. It's time to move on to some clothing. This dress right here. I'm going to insert a little footage from a TikTok I recorded wearing this dress. As you can see, it is a midi dress. I think it looks adorable with boots. You could also wear it with heels. It is the perfect must have sweater dress for the fall and winter season. It comes in several different colors. 
I am wearing a medium. I do feel like I may have been able to size down to a small because it is very stretchy. I am a US size six and sometimes with Amazon, things can run very big or they can run very small. This dress is pretty true to size. Although as I was just saying, if you want it a little bit more form fitting, I would size down. I will be purchasing this dress in the black as well because I do feel like it's so versatile. You can still wear shapewear if you'd like to, just as long as it doesn't come you know, too low where it shows through the slit. Next up, I am crazy about this black cardigan and this body suit. It is not easy to dress during the fall season here in Las Vegas because it can be 80 degrees and sunny during the day and then 60 degrees and sort of chilly at night. And while sometimes it does get cold enough here to warrant wearing a bigger winter coat, it's very, very rare. So what I like to do is layer. And these types of cardigans are perfect transitional pieces. And the bodysuit I'm wearing the cardigan with, I have now ordered it in three colors. Here's a little footage of me wearing the white from another TikTok I posted and I have the black on the way. As someone who is five foot seven with a longer torso, I often struggle with bodysuits, but this one is perfect. It's so comfortable. It's long enough in the torso. The snaps are very easy to open and close, and I may even order it in every single color that's available. And by the way, I am wearing a medium in the bodysuit and a medium in the black cardigan. And finally, in the fashion and style category, I'm going to tell you about these earrings. The last time I checked, they were $9.99. And when I tell you these look like they could be earrings from Revolve that cost over $100, I'm not joking. I have seen and purchased earrings like this for a much, much higher price. I'm still in shock that these earrings are only $10. As you can see, I have them in the golden pearl, but they also come in a silver tone and pearl. They are extremely lightweight. They feel like nothing on the ears. Anytime I wear these earrings, either out in public or in a video, I get so many compliments on them. Get them before they sell out. All right, now that we've talked about makeup products and hair products and fashion and jewelry, let's talk about some household items that I've recently gotten that I cannot wait to tell you about because I am so, so happy that someone told me about them. Now, I can't remember if I said this in the beginning or not, but one of the items that I knew I wanted to speak about in this particular video has actually been sort of life-changing for me. As most of you know, I am in my late 40s. And when you hit your late 40s, sometimes it happens earlier, sometimes it happens later, but we women, we start to go through some changes, mental changes, physical changes. We struggle to sleep, a lot of us. We struggle with weight gain. We struggle with depression, anxiety, lack of libido, all of those types of things. And I have not yet gone to see any hormone specialist. I just don't think I'm there quite yet, but I do follow quite a few doctors on TikTok, and I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like some of you are thinking, Risa, do not take medical advice from people, from doctors on TikTok. Truthfully, many of these doctors on TikTok are legitimate doctors. They're not just playing one on TikTok, on social media. They are licensed professionals in many cases, or in most cases, they have practices that are up and running. They accept patients. In fact, one of the doctors I follow has a practice here in town in Las Vegas. So I haven't gone to see anyone yet, but a few weeks ago, I came across a TikTok from a doctor who was recommending certain supplements, not prescription medications, but supplements that he recommends to his patients if they don't want to go the route of taking prescription medications or hormones. Now, before I tell you what the supplement is that he recommended that I've been taking that I purchased on Amazon, I do want to make sure that you are aware that I am not, I am not a health professional. And this is just my personal experience with this product. I highly recommend you consult your own doctor, do your own research before taking any sort of supplement. So with that said, I have been taking these saffron pills. Please forgive me for reading off my phone, but I don't want to say anything incorrect. So here are some of the benefits of taking saffron. 
One, it is a powerful antioxidant. Notable saffron antioxidants include crocetin, sanofranil, oh my gosh, I am butchering these names. So I'm just gonna move on from that and read you what sort of caught my attention. Crocin and crocetin, both compounds have antidepressant properties. They protect brain cells against progressive damage. They improve inflammation, reduce appetite, aid weight loss. So it may improve mood and treat depressive symptoms. It may reduce PMS symptoms. It may act as an aphrodisiac. So I think from just that, you can understand why I was intrigued and I thought, well, it can't hurt to try it. So I went ahead and purchased the saffron supplement and I took it every single day for about five days. Well, I've been taking it every single day, but I noticed a change after about the fifth day. Now, I've always been a skeptic when it comes to stuff like this. So I still think that maybe it's all in my head. Maybe it's just some sort of placebo effect and I'm just wanting it to work so badly. But quite honestly, a lot has changed since I started taking these saffron, the saffron supplement. I do feel like my mood is better. I do feel like my anxiety is decreased. Everything that I just read to you that it said may happen has kind of happened for me, except for the appetite suppressing. I feel like I'm still pretty hungry. But as far as anxiety, depression, just a better overall mood, better sleep, I do feel like it's definitely helped. And if you're struggling with those same things, I definitely recommend looking into trying saffron. I'm not telling you you should try it. I'm telling you to look into it. And if you and or your doctor conclude that it can't hurt to try, then yeah, these are the ones I purchased and seem to be working for me. Now, the last two things I have as my must-haves are recent discoveries, very recent. Last weekend, I was visiting my aunt and uncle in Lake Havasu, Arizona. They recently purchased a home there. They have a boat, they live in California, and they have a boat that they store in Lake Havasu, at Lake Havasu, and so they were constantly going back and forth, and it's like a five and a half hour drive, so they decided to finally purchase a home in Lake Havasu, and they invited my husband and I out there to see the new house, and hang out, and go on the boat, and all that good stuff. So I was sleeping on the new bed that she had purchased. They had just gotten a new mattress, new pillows, new bedding, and after the first night, as soon as I woke up, I knew I needed to have those pillows. They were the most comfortable pillows I have ever used. And I'm one of those people that is constantly buying pillows. I am constantly ordering pillows, trying new ones from Home Goods, trying new ones from Target, and I'm never really happy with them. But let me tell you, these pillows are the be all end all of pillows, in my opinion. She told me that they were from Amazon, and I said, send me the link right now. I ordered them, and at the time I ordered, it did say that I was ordering the last set of two king pillows. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, they've gotten more in stock. And my aunt told me that she was recommended these pillows by a blogger who does a lot of house decorating, maybe an interior designer. She never told me the name of the blogger, but she said it was someone pretty big and pretty influential and someone who often spends a lot of money on high-end home products, and these were her favorite. So I did not hesitate. I ordered these pillows. I've been sleeping on them for the last three nights, and I knew I had to include them in this video because I cannot believe how comfortable these pillows are. I had been waking up with such a bad pain in my neck, like right through here, and the first night after sleeping on these pillows, well, I didn't have the pain when I was in Lake Havasu, but the first night I was home after that and I didn't have these new pillows yet, I had the pain in my shoulder. And the next day the pillows arrived, I slept on them that night, and once again I woke up, no pain. Now, of course, I can't guarantee that you're going to love them as much as I do because some people like a firmer pillow, some people like a super, super mushy pillow. I would consider these somewhere in between. All right, I think you can tell that I highly, highly recommend these pillows and hopefully they've gotten more in stock. And then another thing that my aunt and uncle had in their new house that I knew immediately I had to order from Amazon were these grip sticks. When we go out on the boat, we take a lot of snacks with us. We make sandwiches, we take bags of chips. So as my aunt was gathering bags of chips to take on the boat, I noticed that they had these long plastic things on them. So I said, 
what are those? And she said, oh, they're grip sticks from Amazon. They are the best. So what did I do? I immediately went over to my phone, opened up the Amazon app, and ordered some for myself. We are a family that loves our chips, and I am so over those chip clips that break, or they don't hold well enough. They just, I just have never really liked them. And I was wondering when someone was going to come up with a better alternative. And these grip sticks are it. As you can see, you can get them in different sizes. I got the assorted sizes for longer bags, smaller bags, and they're so easy to use. You just slide the yellow portion under the fold of the bag, and then you just slide the grip stick along the top. So yeah, this is genius, whoever created this. Well done and thank you. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed hearing about my current must-have products from Amazon. As I mentioned earlier, everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box for your convenience. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me over on Instagram and on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.